different crops, uh, mainly potatoes, um, uh, peanuts, um, melon, and uh, watermelon also. But during the last decade, there are these uh, new crops of the, in the region that we call red fruits crops, which are strawberries, uh, raspberries, blueberries, and also the, you can find, and I thought that you, 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 see, you saw in the streets, on the, on the road, uh, the avocados, small avocados, but there are some farms that they have high avocado. We do have also in the region uh, banana production and the greenhouses. So maybe I will let uh, introduce you first uh, Kenza Midawi. She is engineer, agriculture engineer uh, from National School of Agriculture of Meknes. Here we have also uh, uh, Dua Marahli. She is also agriculture engineer. And Abdul Aziz, he is a technician, uh, in, in, uh, agriculture technician. So the team here uh, is mainly uh, Kenza and Abdul Aziz. So I will let Kenza to introduce herself and to pre introduce mainly the, the farm and tell us about the story of the farm, trying to follow the steps of the booklet that uh, you prepare for us. Well, I work along with uh, Mr. Abdaziz. He's the operation managers here, manager here. We produce here, like you can see, like we have prepared for you, raspberries and strawberries, mainly, uh, mainly destinated to the fresh market and the frozen, uh, frozen markets. And for the frozen markets, we work with the MSM which is a, a company specialized in uh, frozen strawberry. Used to be specialized in frozen strawberry, but the last year they, uh, they, they, they start to, to freeze the uh, rasps and, uh, and blueberries. Dua is uh, the sustainable, technical sales and uh, sustainability manager. So here we, uh, so let me introduce the farm. Uh, the farm is uh, nine hectares. Uh, eight hectares of ras of raspberries and uh, one hectare of straw. Uh, this is the the, the fourth year. Uh, th the first year it was only five hectares. That uh, that three friends agronomists uh, from Liave. Uh, they decided to to start their own project. So they uh, they rented the, the uh, uh, five hectares of land. They cultivated, the, they cultivated it with the rasps, only raspberries. In the second year, they, uh, they, they, uh, they, they, they added the four, four hectares of adjacent uh, land. We can see this if you want. Uh, and uh, from, uh, 28, from 20, 2019, they are, uh, they are producing uh, just uh, raspberries and strawberries. The relation between uh, the f your, your farm and also the academic aspect, since this exactly. is the, the main uh, objective or, uh, of it's our case okay. studies. Yes. So uh, what is the link between uh, the academic research uh, to innovate or to, uh, to improve uh, the quality perhaps of products? Uh, if there is also some aspects for you, Kenza, or uh, okay. uh, Professor Aziz uh, can uh, give yes. us more information. For sure, bridging the gaps between academic research and practical work. That was not easy in the beginning when uh, the three engineers start this project. But uh, in the beginning, for sure, they need someone who can manage the farm. So they were asking, they hire a technician and it was good for the first year but it's very uh, expensive to do this kind of projects mainly for the raspberries and strawberries yes, that were that uh, all the production maybe 99 percent of the production is destined to export yeah it's exported and to export products that needs a lot of certification and so on so um so uh, uh they did need a lot of money so they the three engineers they didn't want to take any credit from the bank and at the same time they don't have money so one of the issues here, what they do is that since the project is destined to exportation, uh, it's for sure it's uh, low risk. So since it's low risk, uh, uh, companies here that uh, gives inputs such as fertilizers, such as the iron, such as plastics, they give this for free from the beginning without paying anything. So when you, you sell your production, they will uh, gather the money. So it's a sort of security for them that you will pay in the end. Performance linked model. Uh, what, what do you call yes, it? Yes, yes, exactly. Model. Yeah, performance linked model. So they choose this model uh, since 
for sure they will sell the production says the market because uh, there is no intermediate between 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 uh, the production and the and the and the, um, the customer the only one is uh, for the moment it's a, a US company who brings the small plants you know the seeds the roots sometimes and they bought they buy the production so when they give you something they will buy the production in the end and what you will not export you can sell it in the local market with a lower price because if you want to sell everything in the local uh, local market that is not it's impossible because it's yeah yeah it's very expensive to to sell uh, raspberries and uh, and uh, blueberries so that was good model in the beginning in the first year second year but after uh, they found that they have some technical problem in terms of data in terms of why in this hectare we have a good production why here we don't have why we spend a lot of money in fertilizer why we don't so this needs because here we have like average of 120 uh, 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 labor per day if you do not uh, succeed and have enough plants per meter you, your yield is already yeah. exactly and when we called the company to come here they said maybe you irrigate you give a lot yes, of water yes maybe you do something mistake you, you've done but which mistake so when Ke uh, kenza came with abdulaziz they start to make some trades they apply the same uh, fertilizer they apply the same uh, what do you call this uh, the products you you made the, the uh, it's it's a routine yeah, yes yeah, it's, a it's a routine biosimilar so they make different and they detect the problem where they were so Hopefully they detect it in the beginning of the season. So now the second year there is no problem. If you go through now this is a raspberry. If you go through uh, strawberry, uh, to uh, this is strawberry, raspberry. It's a very nice germination. What was the problem? Was the it problem was the, a, the kind exactly. of products they use? Okay. This product should not be used when you have roots. It should be used when you have small plants because it inhibits germination. Yeah. It gives more roots but yeah. no. In the, in the. So this is just a small part, yeah. just with a small train. So we, 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 they could detect the problem. We could save the year. Yeah, we save, save the year. Save, save the year. Then the second thing they start doing is to collect data with the, like I said, maybe in the morning, in the downscaling and upscaling. So they have more than 100 people working here. So Kenza will not go to speak with mm -hmm. each one. And uh, at the we're not exactly. going to speak with each one. So they, they make some, what we call, I don't know in English, caporal, I would call them. The yeah, supervisor, it's yeah, supervisor. supervisor. Yes. So the supervisor has his group, and Abdelaziz is speaking with the supervisor and uh, telling him what this, he has to do, and so on. So when the, 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 the owner of the farm, they call Kenza, they find all the information written down with the date, with everything. So this, this yes. farm needs organization and this is what they've done for organization. 150 uh, tons of uh, raspberries just from the losses of uh, our suppliers. And the price is fixed in advance or until the harvest? Uh, it depends on the market so the price it's it's a really high price we started with the, the same price as the fresh the export fresh market. markets so you can buy the main production and the losses with the same uh, Fixed in advance? No. No, no, it's not fixed. No, 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 it's not fixed in advance. No. Do you have a contract of sale? Uh, we have some contracts with some big farmers. With the small ones, it's just uh, conventional. Uh, so yeah, let me tell dealing. you, just to organize things. Uh, in these kind of farms, the main production goes to this kind of company, like a U.S. The company, to be exported, and the losses. They are basically sent to the local market with a lower price. This is what happened. So the price, as average, is like four, four to five euro per kilogram to be sent to exportation. And to local markets, it's like 0 0.4 euro. So, Kadira. <laughs> Nothing. Not so, cool. it's just so, one euro. Sometimes, sometimes you don't take it, even you, you just. Uh, yeah. But this year, the price is like four euro even for the local market. Mm. Because there is no production in the first country that produces strawberry, which are Serbia and Croatia. So, because of the war, because of the labor, because of the COVID situation, because of too many things, there are no people who can harvest. So, the biggest problem was Ukraine production is very big. But now it's. Uh, yeah. Could be, could be, yeah, could be. So, for this year, 
uh, mainly in the North Africa, like Algeria, they don't have raspberries, Tunisia too small, Egyptian they do have. So they do have a little bit, but Moroccan production is very good. We have in the north of Morocco and in the south of Morocco. So the price goes up to buy the production and export it to Europe. Mainly during when it's cold. Now when it's summer, even if there is production, they will not buy from you because Europeans start to, to produce because it's also hot there. So now there are, maybe we can make a turn on the, on the farm to see. There are plenty new plantation every year. They are uh, taking off the old plantation and they are planting new ones. So the window opportunities during uh, Sorry? the winter and uh, yes, spring. The, the, the uh, <laughs> there is production is uh, changed with uh, another food. Uh, that they give you, but there is a there is a basin, so they store the water in the basin and they pump it. And the quality is good. The salinity is about 0.7. Three type of informations in the farm. We have informations related to inputs like fertilizers, uh, how many workers we have, etc. And uh, what do we have else? Uh, for the f for for pests for the the pesticides and for fermenting every every single spray that has been done and where and where fermenting every every single spray that has been done and where and where we we can know uh, like who came like the worker with the card and uh, what what is he what is he doing in the farm which uh. task and this is huge because normally, what what, what are we we, um, we we do we do care a daily uh, situation or a daily report in which we uh, we have the different operations. We we had, for example, this day like we have weeding, we have uh, planting, and we we have uh, we we uh, we um, we document how many workers in each task, and what what is the their re re realization. Like we did, we have two two workers. They uh, they removed weed from two tunnels. We're in a project called Fresno for eight years, and uh, we are involving all our suppliers. And uh, Berinova is one of our active suppliers participating in this uh, project. The project is uh, mainly uh, we have three workshops, big workshops: a workshop on uh, environment issues, a workshop on social issues, and a workshop on. Uh, for, uh, uh, for, uh, Danone is buying from us oh, and uh, they are buying strawberries from us so uh, we are supporting our farmers about the different topics on water economy and we developed a simple tool with our farmers to measure the carbon footprint. Uh, with, uh, Beautiful tool. Yeah, it's, it's really simple, an Excel file, you just, uh, we have the three scopes, yes. the indirect inputs, then you, you will have the the carbon footprint for each kilogram of, of uh, strawberries. It's because the problem here is the institutional setup. Even the framework, legal framework in Morocco is not, uh, yeah, it's it's not yet uh, ready. Exactly. It's slow, uh, slow. As prices are skyrocketing, they're going up and things, our inputs are getting more expensive. The smaller farmer cannot handle it, cannot continue with their process. Do they have a strategy of price? This, this year, we went to the companies and we, 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 we buy exact we discussed prices for uh, for uh, for fertil for huge amounts of fertilizers fertilizers that that's we will use all the year we use we use to buy uh, when we need it we buy fertilizers you see we do, we we did the store a big store of uh, here you commit uh, too much money because if you want to buy which quantity yes that 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 was the uh, that, that was uh, this year that was you the need cash for everything yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 crops, uh, mainly potatoes, uh, uh, peanuts, um, melon, and uh, watermelon also. But during the last decade, there are these uh, new crops of the, in the region that we call red fruits crops, which are strawberries, uh, raspberries, blueberries, and also the, you can find, and I thought that you, 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 see, you saw in the streets, on the, on the road, uh, the avocados small avocados, but there are some farms that they have high avocado. 
We do have also in the region uh, banana production and the greenhouses. Maybe I will let uh, 